Hi guys, my name is Tom Cat, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 where we are looking at the Quartz Regalia. Now, this is obviously not the Regalia Type D, the monster truck. This is the normal Regalia, but I felt like since all of everybody's attention has been all over the Type D lately, I figured we might as well give the normal regalia some love because it is still part of that, you know, like even though a lot of the attention is on the type D, this is still this is still where some of that attention is and I feel like some people don't realize that there is actually a really cool car right here in the quartz regalia um just waiting to come out. So what we're going to do is we are going to throw the crazy 1500 horsepower V12 in it and then we are going to turn it into a highway drag car. Now, when I say a highway drag car, I mean, like, we are we are leaving the all-wheel drive system on it. That's a big thing. We're leaving the all-wheel drive system on it. And then, also, I am throwing a rally suspension on it, but don't worry. I will be dropping that to the ground uh, when I'm when I'm done building everything else. So, don't worry about that. That's, that's going to be fixed. So, we'll do race weight reduction, and then we'll make sure the drivetrain is fully built so we can tune everything and we can shift as quickly as possible. Which, by the way... If you put a race clutch in something in the game, some people don't realize that if you put a race clutch in a car in the game, you can actually sh it will shift faster if you put the race clutch in it. So, little tidbit of information there. But also, let's see. Let's go ahead and get our drag tires on here. Now, it is a big car and drag racing is obviously not what it was built to do, but around here I love making cars do things that they were not built to do. So, that is part of our mission today. So, that uh, we might, hmm, might use, well, we've been using those other ones, like, like, let's use these Mickey Thompson classic locks, because we've used, like, we've used, oh, god, I, I don't even remember what those other wheels are, but I just know we've been using them, like, mad lately, so we're going to go fully upgraded on everything in here, I didn't even pick anything that time, but we're gonna go fully upgraded on everything in the engine, and thankfully, since, you know, since this is a massive V12 that they don't really let you do much to, um, there's only a couple things to do. So now we're making a nice 1,500 to 15 horsepower and 1,101 foot-pounds of torque. That, that, that extra one foot-pound of torque really helps. Sure. Sure it does. Sure it helps. I, yeah, sure it helps. You, you keep telling yourself that, buddy. That's, that, that, that one's for you. But... Now it's time to give it a quick tune, and the tune that we're going to be putting on it is going to be quick, but it's going to be all about getting power to the ground. All about getting power to the ground. So the rear is going to be at, I'm thinking, 17 PSI, and the front is going to be at about 19 PSI. And let's see, we'll mess with the gearing later. Alignment-wise, we're dialing the camber pretty much almost all the way out, and then all the way out in the back. And then, let's see, sway bars are going full soft. And once those are done, we can go ahead and set the ride height to where we want it to be. And I actually kind of want a little bit of ride height. I don't want it necessarily to be perfectly, sl like, completely slammed. But I don't want it to be, like, you know, I don't want it to, complete, to be, like, sitting super high either. So, try it about there for now. The rear is going to be very soft. And then, dampening-wise, the rear is also going to be quite soft. And let's see, diff-wise, acceleration, we're going to be 100 in the front, 100 in the rear on acceleration, and then decel, I'm not going to really worry about too much. We're going to leave it at 60%, um, 60% 60, 60 rear bias, and then now we're going to take it out of the highway and see what it can actually do. Now, as far as how it's going to drive, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, it jumped out of the hole right there, so it's definitely going to be quick. But I don't know if it's going to actually be a usable drag car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's going to be a usable drag car just because of its sheer size and weight. But I think it can definitely be something that will be fun to surprise people with. So if you want to follow along with this build and build one for yourself, I think it would be a fun car to have and a fun car to use and drive. But at the same time... It might not take, it might not, you know, get you any world records, but you'll still have fun doing it. Alright, so it's going to be a little rainy out, but that's no big deal. So let's try, let's try first gear first. That's like 4,800 RPM, let's see what it does. 
spins like mad. It's probably going to spin second, too. Oh, nope. Okay. I wonder if it's if it's that one of those cars that has a weird in between to where it's like to where it's like I'll spin in first but I'll barely even like barely even attempt to spin in second. Well, that's high. Let's see what happens. It gets out of the hole, that's for sure. It's surprisingly easy to drive at high speed. I'm I'm very surprised. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm going back. Oh man. I didn't want to lose a bunch of speed, but Oh my god, it's so soft that the body roll causes it to slide when you go around a corner at like 200 miles an hour. It's sketchy. Two twenty-eight. Come on, two twenty-nine. Two hundred thirty. Two hundred thirty-one miles an hour. Two hundred and thirty-one miles an hour, boys. Oh my God. Woo! That thing is insane. Let's see if I do a rolling boosted launch. It goes. Again, like I said before, this is not going to be the fastest car in the world. This is not going to topple any leaderboards. But my god, if it isn't fun. Oh my god, it's fun. I just wish it would stop freaking raining. I know it's autumn, but please, for god's sake, stop raining. Ow. To be fair, that's what the entire East Coast has been saying lately. Literally, like, it's like, for the love of God, stop raining. That's what Georgia's been saying. That's what Tennessee's been saying. That's what North Carolina's been saying. I mean, I'm sure some of my subscribers from those areas will definitely, definitely... Whoa, whoa, holy crap, that's close. The funny thing is that it's so long, like the wheelbase is so long, that when you go around these corners really, really fast, it just... It just trails the back end around. It's really, really funny to watch. Oh my god, what are you doing? And as if... As if somebody was listening, it stopped raining. It, it, like, seriously, as if... Like, as if, you know... Forza was like, oh! He wanted it to stop raining. It's gonna stop raining now. Well, I am really, re like genuinely grateful for that because now I can test the launch of first gear. Okay, so it gets out of the hole in first gear, but but it does spin a bit. So let's see real quick if we can mess with the gearing and make it a little bit less a little bit less, you know, like high strung in first gear. So let's see, 232, will it go any faster? Hmm. Two thirty. Oh, it's getting slower. Yeah, it's getting slower. Two thirty one point seven, and then two thirty two point two. Let's see if I make it more acceleration bias. Two twenty nine. No, that seems to be like right at where the sweet spot is for this car in terms of speed. It seems to be right there. Yeah, two thirty two point six. I'm gonna make first gear longer. Let's see. That should be a nice change for it. It should be it should allow me to hook a little better and ring out first gear a little more. That is a hell of a launch. Oh my god, I want to do that again. I want to do that again. Wow. Let's do it going back this way because that that just that's mind-boggling. I lifted. I got out of it. Why did I lift out of it? That's... That, that, that... Wow. I can't believe I lifted. I shouldn't have lifted. I want to see what it actually looks like launching. Oh my god, I was late on the camera. I mean, I'm sure it'll still be squatting somewhat. But that, I mean, it's actually, it's, it's, it's basically like tucking tire. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. That is so awesome. And it's like, it shouldn't be doing that, but it is. And that's the best 
part. That's literally the best part. The fact that it should never do this, but it's doing it anyway. Oh, yep, yeah, that's that's the shot I wanted to get. That is what I wanted to see. There we go. I mean, it is all-wheel drive, so it's not going to get, you know, it's not going to sit down, all, like, all the way in the rear. It's not going to, like, dig into the ground. Um, I'm sure someone will probably get it to do it, but still, man, I mean, that right there, just that body shape doing a full-bore drag launch is unlike... Pretty much anything else you could come across in Horizon 4. We're going to do one more top speed run. We're going to try and hit that speed of 232 miles an hour. We came really close, but what we're going to do this time is we're going to do that little trick to where you literally drive through the roundabout at speed uh, to carry a bunch of speed out onto the main straight. So let's do that real quick. We'll go down here, we'll turn around, and then we will, we will gun it the other direction. All right. Oh, jeez. Let's go! We're going to enter the highway at, well, right about 200 miles an hour. Well, eh, 170 miles an hour. Okay. So that's a nice head start. Nice head start. Over 200 now. He's very twitchy. Way twitchier than you'd expect a long wheelbase car like this to be. And God, freaking traffic. If that blue whatever like Mazda thing wasn't there. Let's go, 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 go! 230, 31, 32! I wanted to stay in it and not turn and see what it would do. A little bit of an inch. There's, There was 232 again. 232. 33. 34. I'm staying in it. 35. 235 miles an hour out of this built quartz regalia drag car. This thing is hilarious. I mean, yes, it probably needs some more gearing tuning. But whoa, what a car. It's actually really impressive. And I love the fact that it's like totally not supposed to do this but it does it anyway so if you guys would like to copy this build feel free to follow along and then change whatever uh, aspects of it you want to to make your own um if you enjoyed the video then please do leave it a like let me know in the comments below what you thought of it and if you're new to the channel please do subscribe for more and i'll see you all next time talk to you guys later yeah.